And you, sir. Let's go. Tech? And don't repeat yourself. More speed. Why not? Can't go wrong with more speed. Uh-oh. Some proposition here. It was like A9 used the bang. What the fuck? Okay, what? Oh. War games. Transfer? No. No, that, that stuff ain't cool. I don't want to sabotage anybody. Looks like training's working good for Drew. Okay, there we go. There's a plus four for Bradley. And plus seven. Jesus. All right, cool. Then I will train gave game dev gems. Keep me... Keep me up to snuff. They're heading toward 400. Mm, from Curtin, Kill, Curtin Gillen of Gamers. Jormungandr Games surprises us again with a very enjoyable game. I have rarely seen such responsive game controls. A true joy to play. Summary, best game ever. It's Yodeler Hero, man. <laughs> I mean, it's certainly unique. And there's Voni's play system. Reworking it and coming out with it. Yeah, I mean, he's like technology over 300. He's actually kind of behind. He's fast, but he's got to... We got to get him up there eventually with tech. And we need research points. We need lots of research points. Let's do some contract work because I think they'll be due for a vacation here soon. I think. Let's have him train again. Uh, game design for pirates. Get your design up to 400-ish. And we'll get you to train coding complete. Get your technology up there a bit. Plus fours, plus threes. Am I doing? I think I'm doing all right. Did we find Yodely Heroes off the market. That seemed like it went by quick. Sold over 118,000 units, generating 832,000 in sales. Not bad, but we are only at 2.5 million. We gotta get games going here. I think we gotta get a publisher deal soon. I would really like people to go on vacation first, though. Come on. Finish up. Let's see if we can do some contract work. Hmm. Start off simple. He's still working on his training. Still reading his book. There we go. Back at it. Contract work. 844, six weeks, not sure. Three, uh, 220, three weeks? Maybe. Help debugging a convoluted base program. Let's go for it. Design's done immediately. And looks like we'll be okay with this one. Got it. No, not train. Clicking way up here. Not sure on that accounting software. Not sure on the time tracking. Seven weeks, though. Let's go for game backdrops. 19 design, 6 weeks I think it was, 5 weeks, I think we'll be okay. Oh yeah. Maybe we can do the medium contracts, let's try it. 846 or 1958, oh 6 weeks for 7 weeks, let's try this one. 1958, do it, we got about 2 months to do it. Design's finished up, there goes the market normalizing again. It's about time, Sim was popular for a while. There's their need for a vacation. You guys can go after this contract, just please get the tech points. I think we got it. Nice. 71,000. Excellent job, guys. Go on vacation. You've earned it. And I will just quickly train up real quick again. Why not? Don't repeat yourself. Or make me think. Get some research points going, because I need research points. <sighs> Yeah, okay, good. That is the one for research. Good! Wasn't 100% sure on that one. Oh, god, they're back so soon. Alright, hurry up with your thing. Let's see if we can find a publishing deal here. Ooh, sci-fi adventure. Any console. I can do this. Maybe. Sports adventure? Ugh. No minimum score 5. Maybe I can pull that off. I think I could pull off a sci-fi adventure, though. That seems to make sense. We'll go for that. Hurry up and train you. Me, I mean. Wish I could just, like, cancel it. Like, no, stop it. Put the book down. There's work to do. All right. Publishing deal. Let's do this. 
Sci-fi adventure. For the PC. For everyone. Medium. Pit Game Engine 2.0. Sci-fi adventure. So it's basically... Didn't I already do this? Um... Through the wormhole. Yeah, it's mysterious sounding. Sci-fi adventure, PC, 2.0 for everyone, medium, costs a lot. Uh, 3D graphics, yeah, I should go text-based just to troll everybody. Wouldn't that be silly? And it's about month five, so I think this will be timed okay. Right, right, right. We gotta assign people to everything. That's fine. I'm surprised we already have three bugs and haven't even really started. I guess we had a lot of typos getting the title out, maybe? Not sure. Alright, this is the tricky stuff, though. Story and quests. Not so much. Gameplay? I would think so. It's an adventure game, so you're not really questing. It's kind of just free reign. You're doing whatever it is you do. We're going to throw all of everything that we possibly can into it. Mostly gameplay, though. Not so much story and quests. I suppose a good bit engine. Right, and I think gameplay... I'm pretty sure gameplay is a well-rounded thing. Maybe it's design. I'm not sure. Let's throw Drew on it just in case. I think it's design. As far as balance things go. I think balance things are like level design and world design mostly. So we'd be looking at putting me on those later on. So I think we'll have... You're the tech guy, so you should really be... Well, engine certainly. I think it's story and quest is designed too. Well, yeah, it'd have to be, because that's like an RPG thing. <sighs> yeah, I think that'll be fine, because we're not really going to be doing much with dialogues, I don't think. Probably not. Um, let's go small booth again. That's fine. I think I did time this right. So it'll be like this... It'll be like the start of the third development phase when we finally get to the game convention. Already generating hype, though. That publisher's advertising for us pretty decently, I think. And then I think dialogues, yeah. And then that'll be pretty much there. Apparently you can get to like 105% or so. You can go a little over 100%. And uh, you still get good management, which is good. Glad to hear that. I'm the balanced one, and I think the balanced would be um, level design, role design. I think sound and graphics is a little more tech than anything else, I think. I don't know. I'm still experimenting with this. This is the stuff that I was finding out last time when I had like all design. It's like what didn't work. I played a little bit with that off-camera, because I did sneak a save in there. And uh, loaded it up and played around with it and figured out what didn't didn't work. And from that I kind of determined, okay, these are tech things, and I wrote it down, but... It's still kind of up in the air. Like, I'm 99% sure engine and AI are tech. I'm pretty sure gameplay, story, quest, design, and dialogues are all design. Um, Sound and graphics, I think, is mostly tech, but a little bit design. And then I think level design or world design is tech. Or both. Like, either or. So. Drew's our tech guy, so that's all done. This is taking forever, I know. I'm sorry. Um, I'll be doing level design. Because I'm the balanced one. And then I'll be doing... God, I'm going to have to do like all of the third phase, too. This is awful. All right, Bradley, you're AI, though, so go ahead and do that. Dialogues, a little bit of dialogues, not so much AI, mostly level design. We'll just put Drew at 100%, that's fine. Uh, hopefully this works out okay. Design is really rocking, though. Makes me a little scared. Oh, boy, here we go. Towards the end of the second development phase, the game convention starts up. This will get us up to probably the 30s, maybe 40s in hype. And it'll steadily grow. We'll probably hit about 60 or so hype. By the time the game's released, I'm thinking 48,000 people about. Not good, but it's hype. Bring us to exactly 30. Alright, alright. There's some of the tech points coming in. 
Only 10 bucks so far, not bad. Right, and then I think sound and graphic, I think it's mostly tech. So I think um, world design, definitely me, and I'm going pretty much all out on that. Um, and then I suppose, Let's see, it's kind of tricky, because if I do that, then I'm like, wow, I'm like ridiculously stressed, unless we emphasize on sound or something like that, which would be a little strange. So let's emphasize a bit on graphics. I'll go on sound. You can take care of that. No, that's not going to work at all. All right, go for both. Oops, both. There we go. And just hundreds all around. Yeah, perfect hundreds. Graphics and sound are pretty much even, emphasizing mostly on world design, which I think would be important for a sci-fi adventure. Because it's adventure and you're exploring everything. And it's an open world, I mean, come on. It's not the most beautiful thing, and it doesn't sound great. It's still mono sound, and it's really bad 3D graphics, so... I think we're okay here. I think I got all that written down right, I don't know. We'll see. Basically, I just did a bunch of different genre combinations and stuff like that with the heavy design team and figured out what got me a lot of bubbles and what didn't. Uh, Vanny gear is dropping off. Did I do anything for the Vanny gear? I don't think I did. I completely ignored it. I went for the game link. Come on, polish. As much as you can before that hype drops. All right, good. That'll work. 73 design, 43 technology. Not bad technology. New record for design, new topic... Great combo. Wait, new combo. New combo, great combo. Good management. Sci-fi adventure. Got it. That makes me feel good. I, ch I chose correctly. Story and quest leveled up. That's good. And they're about to get a raise again. That's a little scary. Branching story. Good stuff. Let's do some more training. Uh, game dev gems keep me nice and balanced. Drew. Um, don't repeat yourself. Don't make me think. Let's go research points for this round, I'm thinking. Why not? Research points are always good. I need like 40 to research everything. See the wormhole reviews. What did I need a minimal score of? Six, I think. There's a six there. That's good. Can I get a seven? Good. Seven sci-fi adventure. Great combination from informed gamer. A four. Meh, from Game Hero. You fuckers may have just ruined it for me. See here, 6.5, 6.25, the 4 brings to like 5.75 or something like that. I don't think that's good enough. I think I needed a minimum score 6. Oh good, it did meet. Oh, thank god. Whew. I'm glad they weren't expecting much. Whew. Hey, strong audience, young. Alright. I don't think that'll stick around long enough for them to finish up their training, go on vacation, come back. Because I don't think I can squeeze out a small game. Maybe I can. Maybe we can try it. I don't really know what to do for a young audience, though. We'll see. Young. <laughs> a young school sim for the gameling. <laughs> no. I th think that'd be bad. When I, just, when I think kids, I think like sci-fi or fantasy or something like that. Not like post-apocalyptic. I think post-apocalyptic would be good for a mature audience. Post-apocalyptic action. Or something. I don't know. What all do we got for researching here? Marketing would be cool, but if I'm doing publisher deals, they kind of do that for me. And eventually I'll have a big enough fan base that I won't even need to market, so I'm putting that off for now. Multiplayer would be good. Um, stereo sound would be fantastic. As well as a branching story for those RPGs. I think we should definitely get Stereo Sound going here. Let's have you train again. Hmm, he's like crazy design. He's gonna be like our RPG guy, I think. Let's go make me... No, game design for pirates. More design. Just go all out, guy. And then I will go for... More speed. Ah, speed. Can't go wrong with speed. I'm really realizing the benefits of having high speed in research. It really makes a huge difference. 
very good. See the wormhole still selling. Not bad. We're still not really making much money though. I'm waiting for these people to need a vacation. I'm thinking a medium game would really do them in. Um. Let's see here. I was kind of hoping you'd be sort of mostly tech. Let's go. Don't repeat yourself. Get your speed over 300. I feel like that could be a good thing. That's a good mark to aim for. Drew's back. Would this be too much if I went for a don't repeat yourself on him? We'll see. Plus one, plus three, plus five. Okay, we're cool. We're cool. I'll research a new topic. Let's see if we can get this going. Vocabulary. Oh, God. It really doesn't get much more specific than that. I guess that'd be great for a young audience, but I don't think that trend's going to last for much longer. Not the greatest, but with as low of a royalty rate as we had, we got some of our fans back. I think we're at 9,000 before the whole lawsuit thing. Sold 1.3 million units, just about 1.5 million in sales. Didn't go too bad, though. Not bad. Aliens. Okay, we can do aliens. Kids and aliens are good. No, no, kids and aliens are bad. I specifically remember kids and aliens is bad. Whew. Maybe mature and aliens. A mature alien action game. You guys gotta go on vacation, I think, right? Let's do some contract work. Library software, 324, we can do that. We'll just do contracts until they need to go on vacation again. Definitely gonna miss the trend, but maybe we can do a, uh, a pretty neat small game. Go to the game convention with it. That'll be coming up here pretty soon. 22-6, I think we can handle that as well. It's gonna be mostly Drew and I. And Bradley finished off the tech and started scratching his head. He's like, I don't know about the rest of this stuff. That's fine, I don't blame you, man. 1357, six weeks. Weeks, rather. I can't talk. Let's go for it. High tech, this one's mostly me and Bradley. Drew's working away at the design. He is contributing a bit to the technology, though. And now he's kind of stopped. <laughs> That's fine. Market normalized, and we got a proposition straight out of the bat. Straight out of the bat? Straight off the bat. What? Managed to borrow some research information. Yes, free research. I will do this. I research superheroes. I guess that's good for kids, right? Uh, accounting software? Barely got it. And there's the vacations coming in. Good. Finally, I was waiting for that. I probably could have done a small game in that time. And I will research... Where's superheroes at? Way down there. Alright. I guess I'll research game dev. Game dev strategy? <laughs> or game dev simulation. We'll choose a small booth. We're going to make a cool uh, mature alien action game here for the PC. It's a new topic. Hopefully it's a good combo. We'll see. We could go for the play system. 200,000 license costs. But I think the play system is good for mature audiences. Is it not? Hmm. It's only got 2% more market share than the PC. So let's go PC. Small. Because we cannot do our own medium game. That would be a horrible thing. Alright. Um. Oh my god. Sequel. I gotta do a sequel yet too. We'll do that afterwards. We'll do two small games. Um, let's see here. A good alien name. Do I have the alien name? I don't think I do. Hmm. Hmm. No, not really. Kind of. I mean, not really. I, I don't think that'll fit. Um... Let's just go with Alien, Discovery, something like that. We'll, we'll prime it up for a uh, for a series or something. I don't know. Aliens, action for the PC. Alien, yeah, action. No, nope. yes, action. Got it. For mature, small, good. 
do it. Alien Discovery, it's spelled right. I think we're okay. 3D graphics, go. I should try a 2D strategy game too someday. I got I got things I should do. I keep trying to get fancy with things and I think it just keeps falling through. Gameplay, yes. Story quests, not so much. Engine, yes. Mostly gameplay. Go. Check it out, I got a drink and I didn't tackle the mic this time. Yay! Dialogues, no. AI, yes. Level design, yes. Mostly AI. A little less level design. Decent-ish dialogues, I suppose. Perhaps the aliens can have their own language. Oh boy, here's that game convention. Can I hit more than like 50,000? I can. 56,000. Not bad. Getting there. We are definitely getting there. 30 hype again. Nice. And 40 design, 31 technology. Not bad so far, guys. World design, not so much. Graphics and sound, yeah. World design for an open world would be kind of cool, but I'm thinking mostly graphics and sound. That's what people really care about in an action game, I feel like. When I think aliens action, I'm thinking of a first-person shooter or an over-the-shoulder involving aliens. Uh, the TES-64, okay. Never before seen 3D realism. Right. I'm sure our 3D isn't the greatest. It's version 1. It's cheaper to do this 3D than it is to do the decent-ish 2D. Fix the bug, polish it off. 70 design? No, okay, we're losing hype. You introduced the bug at the last second, you fuck. <sighs> Hopefully that doesn't screw us over. New topping, new combo, great combo. No design record, but we did get a tech record. 3D graphics version 1 finally leveled. The gameplay is about to level. Nobody's gotten a raise yet. Whew. 3D graphics version 2 is available. Please don't hate me for that one bug that was released at the very last second. I am so sorry about it. It happened after I pushed the button. It's not even fair. 7767? Seven, seven, 8. Hey, nice. Alright, cool. Good deal. All games actually being the, the best review.